Anything can happen. Your next comedian goes by the name of Nicholas Sapaglia. Nicholas Sapaglia. Here he comes. One more time for Nicholas, everybody. I want to open up a gay coffee shop. I'm going to call it a gay cap. Hey! <laughs> Come on down and try our lattes. <laughs> our best seller is big black coffee. <laughs> My friends make fun of me because I like to go to gay bars, but they don't get it. The regular bars don't have what I like, which is free drinks and compliments. <laughs> I like to test out all my new jokes in gay bars, too, because they're more likely to test positively. <laughs> I think palm readers are full of shit, because I jack off for I get my palm read every time and they never see it coming. Wow. I mean, that's how it's done, sir. Thank Indeed, you. welcome to Kill Tony. That is Nicholas Sapaglia. Perfect. Am I saying that correctly? Uh, I love first it. First person in Austin to get it right the first time. I love it. Absolutely. Writers Guild over a decade. It's incredible how smart I am. Uh, with words and shit. Uh, <laughs> major life choices, not so much. Anyway, Sapaglia, very How's Italian. You look going? like a hipster Mario or something like that. <laughs> Thanks. What do you do for work, Nicholas? Um, I'm not work working right now. I just moved here about six weeks ago, so I'm just kind of from where? Out the city. From Fresno, California. Whoa, Fresno. Okay, that's a big deal. Welcome to Austin. What made you move here? Um, I just over COVID, I was able to save up enough money to like take some time off from work and you know go try something else. I never left Fresno before, so I moved right. out here and give comedy a full time shot. Cause I'd, how old know, are you? I'm 34. 34. Fucking perfect. And how long have you been on stand-up? Seven years. Seven years. Absolutely. Seems like it. For sure. That's great. I love that. So you've been here six weeks. What do you love about Austin so far? It's pretty cool. I like it. It honestly seems like a less disgusting San Francisco. Right. You know? Yeah, for sure. The, it's, nice is... being, it's nice being able to go up to, you know, mini mics a night because in Fresno there's like three a week and one once a night, you know? So right. Just yeah. been doing it like that part-time for the last seven years. You know? Has anybody been racist to you or anything like that since you've been here? No, not really. Okay. There's a very anti I've seen a lot of it, but not towards me. There's a very anti-Italian thing going on here in Austin. I don't know if you guys know about it. Yeah, it's very real. I have to deal with it all the time. People bullying me and uh, whatnot. So, Sapaglia, how Italian are your parents? Um, I'm Italian on my dad's side. I'm Italian and German. Oh, okay. Fucking Axis Powers over here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My God. What happens when, like, you run into a Jewish person? You just fucking, like, kick him in the shins or something like nah, that? No, no, of course not. <laughs> Italian German. Ryan, don't look at me that way. Oh, he's drawing me. It's okay. <laughs> um, I love it. Uh, so, close with, uh, close with your family, brothers, sisters? What's, yeah. What's I've... interesting about your life? What would we be surprised to know about you? Um, Seems like you have a trophy for something. Like, you must be good at something. I mean, I'm good at... Good at comedy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, I know. Um, I knew you were going to say I don't know. Something that. weird, interesting that not a lot of people know is when I was 22, I worked for a mortuary company. Ooh, okay. Yeah. You My job title was coroner transport, so I was in charge of going to the crime scenes or the place where people die and pick them up, put them in bags, and take wow. them to the morgue. Wow, so you're like fucking death Uber. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking incredible. One of the corpses ever asked from the back to suck your dick? <laughs> What? Yeah, or or was there ever like a hot chick and you're like, holy shit, look at her tits. You'd like unzip Red it a band, few that's times. That's enough. All right, we all know where you're going. You don't have to keep going. You have to unzip the bag and then throw some hands in there and then start licking stuff and uh, kissing all around and. Uh... But the answer is no to that question. Right, we know, Nicholas. We know you're a good boy. But but there is a little mortuary in this look. There is no. a little fucking. I could see you like answering the door at a mortuary or something Probably, like that. Probably, yeah. Hell yeah. I love it. What do you like to do for fun? Um, I like to go hiking and hang out with my friends and paint. 
Okay. What do you and your friends do? You guys ever get wild? What's like something fun that you guys do? Um, we go to like concerts or music festivals. Um, just hang out around the house, smoke pot, watch some funny movies. You know, fuck dead bodies. <laughs> All right. I love it. Well, Nicholas, you're a fine, fine comedian. Did Seven you? years in the game. Just moved here to Austin, Texas. Uh, I mean, you're you're in position for uh, for greatness. It must make you feel good to be the fuck out of Fresno. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's What's nice. the longest set you've ever done? Like 25 minutes. I'd love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday. There you go. Oh, fuck yeah, cool. There yeah. it is. He just got booked. Perfect. Fuck yeah. And you have one of these coming at you from the great Bones Eye, a real handmade fucking Texas leather book. Awesome. Welcome to town, my friend. Thank I think you. you're Thank in the you. exact right place. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Appreciate One more time it. for Nicola, Nicola Thanks, Sapaglia. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Wow. Look at that. Every once in a great while, somebody's actually good at this. It's pretty wild. <laughs> 